Welcome back to the railroad, everyone. Today's video is for those of you that wish to operate some of Brent Stuvlin's engines. I will tell you the type of RC that's in each engine, the type and placement of batteries, whether it has a sound system, and the little nuances such as where the switches are located. So, in today's video, we are going to cover this video is about Thomas the Tank Engine with Annie and Clarabel. When you open the box, you will find Annie, Clarabel, and Thomas. You will also find a transformer. At the other end of the box, you will find a box of Bachmann tintype track. When you open the roof and look inside of Annie, you will see an older 27 megahertz receiver for the old Crest train engineer transmitters. Just behind that, you will see two plugs for the 7.2 volt batteries that are included with James. These ride in the middle of the car. The Thomas the Tank Engine soundtrack is on an iPod, and there is a set of speakers that you will find inside of Clarabelle. To operate Thomas, you will need one of the two old train engineer transmitters that are included. There is a box of manuals that will have the instructions on how to connect the transmitter to the receiver. Also included with the two transmitters and the manuals are two base stations that can be used to operate a track-powered system. And you will find a five-switch track control system from Aristocraft that will work with these two hand controllers. Another thing worth mentioning is that underneath Annie, you will find an on-off switch for those times that you want to leave the batteries in the train, but do not want to run it. Whoa, Thomas, whoa. 